Hi everyone, giving you my video update. So I'm just gonna explain a couple of things. So this morning, the three of us were in the cardiologist's office for three hours. And he had, um, let me see, a bunch of tests done. Um, I was able to speak for quite a while with um, his doctor and I was able to, to really follow what he was talking about and um, be able to ask some really good questions. So, um, when he was born, there was a small hole, well, everything's small like baby, um, hole between his two ventricles. And um, that hole kind of um, creates a, a, a pressure shift that's not really supposed to be there. Um, so, it... Um, makes his lungs have to work a bit harder and um, that can cause a, a, a buildup of scar tissue in his lungs. Um, very slow going. Um, but his heart is doing exactly um, exactly how God made it. Um, it is um, very slowly healing itself. So the ventricles, basically like the muscles in there, are kind of covering up the hole. Um, and not completely, it's not completely, but um, the doctor does believe it's going to be um, completely healed within a couple of months. Um, if not, we do some extra tests and see a surgery, but um, he doesn't think that. I don't think that makes sense to me either, so um, he's probably fine in the air. Now, um, because of um, the extra pressure on his lungs, uh, the doctor decided to put him on oxygen. Now, the oxygen is very, very low flow. It's not for um, perfusion through the body. He does not need it to survive. He can push it off. Oh, we don't realize for an hour, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just to relieve some of the pressure on the lungs for the scar tissue. I just don't want anyone to be worried about that. Um, and so, um, let me see, let me see. So basically, um, let me see, I'm looking at my notes. Um, now, there is another thing that could be causing some of the issues that he's having with his, is like, he has like this deep nasally breathing. Um, and, uh, and part of that is, um, could be just his Down syndrome. So typically they have like a smaller um, bridge of the nose and that makes the airway just a little bit tighter. Um, and that's why he looks Asian. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, he's Asian. I'm like, no. Um, and so that's part of it. And also his tongue um, is a little bit bigger as well. And that can, you know, both cause um, some airway restriction. Now, um, we're going to see an ear, nose, throat doctor, an ENT, and that doctor, um, we'll just kind of do an evaluation. Um, I personally think he's going to get a, um, a nose job and I think he's going to get a, a tongue job. Now, both of those things, um, sometimes Down syndrome, um, people, families, um, honestly just do it for aesthetic reasons um but um this would be medical reasons and um James and I even said oh well if he has to redo his nose we'll take the picture of his um brother and try to do the same nose which is a very weird conversation but when you're in the cardiologist's office for three hours uh you have a lot of time um but um, basically it means within the next couple months, um, we'll just be doing a lot of doctor's visits. That doesn't mean people can't visit. It doesn't mean, um, hopefully I don't think it's going to, um, push back any of our trips. Uh, we plan on doing California and Florida, um, hopefully this year we'll see. Um, but I think it'll be okay. Um, it's just, we want to get everything done as quickly as possible so he can be healthy faster. So that's kind of it. Um, now, just any questions you 
you have, just let me know. We're doing great. He's doing great. This is his normal, but it could be better. Um, and we want him to live as just as long as possible and not be harder, much longer, you know, down the road. So that's it. Okay, bye-bye, guys.